Hi there, I'm Peter Upfold, and I'm the creator of Sleek Tabs. Sleek Tabs is a program written in PHP that makes it easy for you, the web developer, to build web pages that feature tabbed interfaces. What I mean when I say tabbed interfaces is you have on your web page a little box with tabs at the top, and you can flip between those tabs to see the different bits of information that they contain. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Sleek Tabs and set it up for a basic three tabbed web page. If you don't know anything about Sleek Tabs right now, I suggest you go over to my website and learn more about it before you come back to this tutorial. That's peter.upfold.org.uk slash projects slash Sleek Tabs, and that should tell you all you need to know about it. So for now, let's get started with the tutorial and I'll show you how we're going to do this simple three tab web page. This is the demonstration web page. Down here you can see the tab section. This is being provided by Sleek Tabs. When I click on these tabs, you'll see they load in line through Ajax, and that's all done through Sleek Tabs, and I'll show you how we achieve that in a minute. I'm showing you this so you can see what the finished product is meant to look like, and it's what you should have once you finish this tutorial. So for now, let's look at the working project and get started building Sleek Tabs into it. So this is the working page. As you can see, the tabs don't exist yet, we've just got this blank box, and that's what we're going to fill in. Now let's take a look at the code behind this page. This is index.php, which is the file we were just looking at, but in the code form. As you can see, it's a basic HTML document here. No PHP in there yet. There are two divs. This one is where the tabs you click on appear, and this is where the tab content is going to appear, and I've set them up. If you remember back to what I was saying earlier, we need three tabs, information, contact, and products. Now let's look at the files for each of these tabs. This is information.php. What you'll notice here is that we haven't got any HTML other than the exactly what the content of that tab is. There's no starting HTML tag or header. It's just literally the content that will appear inside that div and nothing else. Here's contact, exactly the same idea. And here's products, again, just the content, but a little more complicated, we've got a table here, but it all should still work. Finally, I'm going to show you the style sheet. Up here, I've got the normal styles for my web page, but I've also copied the Sleek tab styles from sleektabs.php, pasted them in here into my style sheet, and then modified them so that my tabs are consistent with the look and feel of my website. If later on you're working on a different project with Sleek Tabs, I recommend you do this as well. For reference, here's how you do it. Go to sleektabs.php that you've downloaded, go down to line 197 in the current version, and then you'll find the styles. You can copy them into your own custom style sheet, modify them so they look how you want, and you have complete control over Sleek Tabs and its output. That also saves us a step later, and I'll show you that in a moment. Now we've finished looking through the files, let's get started and get Sleek Tabs actually set up. If you haven't already downloaded sleektabs.php and put it in the same folder as this website, do that now. Make sure you do not overwrite our custom index.php with the example index.php which comes as part of the download. Just make sure that sleektabs.php is in the same folder as the rest of the website. Right, so first of all we're going to scroll down and edit this tab section div. I'll open a PHP tag and we'll get started. So the first thing we need to do is we need to include sleektabs.php. I'll use require here because I need this to work on my page. Now we set up an array which contains all the information about the tabs so that Sleek Tabs can deal with them. I'll call it tabs and I'll start off with the first element numbered 0. Each one of these elements has four sub-elements to it. Name, friendly name, Ajax URL and fallback URL. First of all it's name and this is a safe for code name for the tab. No spaces or special characters. Second is friendly name. This is what's actually going to appear on the page to the user. It can have spaces or any characters you want that are valid in HTML, so make it what you want to actually appear. Here, it's just information, but with a capital I. Next up is the Ajax URL. 
This is the URL that the browser is going to fetch and then replace that content div with whatever it gets from that URL. So in this case, it's that information.php file that I showed you earlier. Whatever's in that file will be taken by the browser and put in to the tab area. Finally, it's fallback URL. I'll explain this in a bit more detail in a minute. For now, I'm going to set it to the following. Dollar underscore server PHP self, which identifies the current page in PHP. Then I'm going to append to that question mark load equals information. Again, I'll explain exactly what this is all for in a moment. So this is it. This is our first tab has now been identified. It's got a name, a friendly name, an AJAX URL, and a fallback URL. Now let's fill in the other two tabs. To speed the tutorial up, the other two tabs I'll type extra quickly, but you can copy and paste those lines from the finished version of this tutorial. You can download that from my website. Now we've set up the tabs, we just need to call sleep tabs and put it into action. So I'm going to create a new sleep tabs object here, SL tabs equals new sleep tabs. I'll pass in that array of tabs we've set up, and I'll also pass in the name of that sleep tabs content div, sleep tabs dash content. That creates our sleep tabs object, and we now need to set a few options of it. The first option we're going to set is use cache. This is static content I'm dealing with here, so I can turn that on. But if you, if you have dynamic tabs, you might want to turn that off so that the browser doesn't get stale information. Now we make the JavaScript. This makes sleep tabs print out the JavaScript needed to do all the AJAX into the HTML output. Now we would need to do make CSS as well at this point, but since we've already added the CSS into our global style sheet, we don't need to do this step but if you're working on a different project and you haven't followed my advice, you might. So, I'll comment that out for now. And finally, we now draw tabs, which is the final thing where the tabs are actually printed to the screen. We pass in the tab we want to be selected to start with, which is information, our first one. Now let's save the file and see what this looks like in the browser. So I've come back into my web browser and reloaded. You can see here we have three tabs, information, contact and products. If I click on them, you'll see the browser goes behind the scenes, loads the content for our Ajax and displays it. Brilliant, that's exactly what we want. However, there is a bit of a problem at the moment. I don't know whether you noticed it, so let's reload the page. I've reloaded that page and you'll notice that before I click anything, that center content div is blank, there's nothing in it. As soon as I click something, it's fine, the tab content appears properly. But I want something to be preloaded into there. Let's fix that problem before we move on. So welcome back to the code. To fix this problem, we need to go down here into that preload tab content area, or sleep tabs dash content, and then simply include the file for the first tab we want. Here, that's information.php. So I just require information.php, and then at runtime, when the user loads the page normally, that content will be preloaded into the box. So I'll save that file, go back to the browser, and reload. Now you couldn't see it very well there because the reload wasn't very obvious, but it's reloaded the page, and information is now the, both the selected tab and its content appears. So that's it. That problem is now fixed. At this point, you have a fully working installation of Sleep Tabs for Ajax only. If you're confident that all your users are going to have JavaScript on, then you don't actually need to work on the fallback segment. Due to YouTube's 10 minute video restriction, I'm going to have to stop here and split into part 2 for those that are interested in fallbacks, so check out part 2 for more information. For the rest of you, thank you for watching this far. I hope you enjoy using sleep tabs and hope it's helpful to you. And for more information, go to peter.upfold.org.uk.